Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Wainer. Today is the 25th of February 2019. We're going to reflect on Mark chapter 9, 14 to 29. When they came to the disciples, they saw a large crowd around them and some scribes arguing with them. When the whole crowd saw him, they were immediately overcome with awe and they ran forward to greet Jesus. He asked them, what are you arguing about with them? Someone from the crowd answered him, teacher, I brought you my son. He has a spirit that makes him unable to speak and whenever it seizes him, it dashes him down and he forms and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it up, but they could not do so. Jesus answered them, you faithless generation, how much longer must I be among you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. When the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the father, how long has this been happening to him? And he said, from childhood. It has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you are able to do anything, have pity on us and help us. Jesus said to him, If you are able, all things can be done for the one who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out, I believe. Help my unbelief. When Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You spirit that keeps this boy from speaking and hearing, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. After crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out, and the boy was like a corpse, so that many of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he was able to stand. When he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? He said to them, this kind can come out only through prayer. The Gospel of the Lord. I begin giving a retreat to priests today. It is a five-day live-in retreat that I'm conducting along with Father Irodai Raj. It is not the first time I will be giving a retreat to priests. I've previously given retreats to priests in Thailand and in London. This will be followed by another retreat at IC Church in Burivli, Mumbai, one of the largest parishes in the city. I know that thousands will attend and marvel at the man standing in front of them and how easily everything seems to come to him. But is it? What most people do not realize is how arduous the journey has been that brought me to the point where I am today. Most people will never know the struggles I have faced and the failures, hundreds of them. This is also true of the ministry that I started 15 years ago. Why do I share this? Not only to dispel any myths being built, but also to highlight that failure is part and parcel of life's journey and it needn't be a bad thing if one can learn from it, as in today's Gospel passage. A man has a child who is demonized. He can't find Jesus, so he takes him to the apostles who also have a reputation for healing the sick and delivering the oppressed. Based on their experiences, the apostles very confidently said about delivering the boy, but nothing happens. To their further embarrassment, their enemies, the scribes, are witnesses to their failure and heckle them. A fight is about to start, but like a movie hero, Jesus lands on the scene and delivers the boy with a word. The mortified apostles later go to Jesus asking why they couldn't do it, and Jesus said to them, this kind can come out only through prayer. Some other Older translations add fasting to the prayer, perhaps because they wanted to add an ascetic element to it, but we stick with the modern translations. So, didn't the apostles pray before they tried casting out the demon? Possibly, but it was presumably a casual prayer. Accustomed to doing things easily, they didn't realize that sometimes more effort is required. This boy had been suffering from childhood. The spirit had him as a slave for years and had secured his territory well. Like a long-time squatter, he would not be easily evicted. So the apostles failed. But through their failure, they learned something important. I have learned something through every failure. And I've also learned that should I not take the lesson seriously, I am doomed to fail again. So don't be afraid of failure, provided you are willing to learn from it. Before I conclude, I would like to ask you for your special prayers today. 
and over the next five days. The main message of this retreat is based on the quote by Hugh Thompson Kurt that I recently read. This is what he says. We are sent to preach not sociology, but salvation, not economics, but evangelism, not reform, but redemption, not culture, but conversion, not progress, but pardon, not the social order, but the new birth, not a new organization, but a new creation, not democracy, but the gospel, not civilization, but Christ. We are ambassadors, not diplomats. This is not a message only for priests, but for us too. Thank you.